Hi guys, good morning. This is my um, late summer garden update. I'm gonna see what's what I can find here in the garden that's still doing well because um autumn is just around the corner. I can see it from the falling leaves, dwindling of the vegetable garden. And this one here is the Rose of Sharon hibiscus. This is just the right time for this to bloom. This beautiful. Yeah. It's so gorgeous. Got the eyes in the center the color red and beautiful this one is just funny looking center these guys wow rose of sharon hibiscus It's a uh, massive tree now. I've been cutting this um, every fall, but it just keep growing bigger and bigger. Just right beside my cherry tree and my male American persimmon. That one just smack in between. It gives color to my garden in the late summer. And that is my um, tree hydrangea. Look at that. it looks like a snowball. Nice. But we also have the one that turned color already. It turns into an um, autumn color. It's pink right now, but that's gonna turn darker, like a magenta color in the fall. Yeah. That one right there, slightly changed from white to green to this pink magenta later and this one right here are still green they are droopy That's my um, backyard peach tree right here. It got some fruit in there, but I never expect this fruit to fully matured and ripe because um, it's only like two or three hour, hours of sunlight in here from morning to um, uh, midday. So it's not enough for peach. But I give this to the squirrels and they already been harvesting some yeah I have I found one on the floor right here and yesterday I picked some uh, this one just fell and it got it has a crack yeah because of the too much watering water rain water from a couple of weeks ago there's we have four days of rain it's a massive tree. There's still some fruits in it. It didn't um, get bigger. Yeah. This is the, this is the one that I collected from yesterday. I'm gonna put this in the trash. Yeah. See, this one does squirrel did this. And there's some grapes in the swell in the bottom. The bug fell because the grapes is done. No more leaves, I'll show you. Yeah, grips is done. Give this to the birds as well. Um, it got some, this is the one that I experimented in bagging, paper bag. This one really works because of all the grapes that's hanging in there. The birds got to them and then the black rat got to them. See, this one I spied 
I open and it's still lit hanging right here. It has some, um, not a great big bunch, it's a small bunch. The bottom one turned into raisin. That one. Oh, it's actually nice. Hmm. Look at that, guys. I'll give this to the birdies. Yeah, look. So paper bagging the bunch of grapes is actually working. It's the only one's lips lip hanging in here. Pretty is because the the leaves are done, and the ones I did not bag got into the into disease like black rat or something. And look at this, the ones in the paper bag. This is like um Reliance grapes. I might taste that one later. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty grape. So they've been doing small grapes, but. Ooh, there's an airwig in there. You saw the airwig. I think I will give that one to the bird. Yep. This one here, guys, is my um, Spartacus Delia. Yeah. I normally don't um, lift the rhizome on this one, on, the, on my plants. I experimented last year and I left this um, and, and store it in the basement and I managed to save this yeah Spartacus Delia this is a dinner plate size so big it's more in her blooming this one just started so cute it has a streak of um love in there in there yeah Spartacus Delia this one just opening and it's getting more babies right there. I put it in the pot so that I can just like drag this one in the basement in the winter. And my apologies guys. Last video I thought this one was the Inferno Kana. But it's not really Inferno Kana. I found a tag on this one in my closet. And this is actually the Kana Tropicana. Yeah. Kana Tropicana. And it has an orange blossom. Yeah. This one's done. Done. But there's more um, bud. Yeah. It has a lovely colored foliage. Look at that. Cana Tropicana. This, this one also I'm going to just put the pot inside the... Uh, in the basement, you know, over the winter. I will overwinter them in there. I just love the leaves and that thing. Look at that. The flower is orange color. Yeah. And this is the potted. I have plenty of big sizes of this um, all around my property. The Rose of Sharon. I don't know the variety. Rose of Sharon hibiscus, and this is the ones in the pot. It just planted itself there. Yeah, and I moved this in here, and now my lemon cucumber is trying to strangle the little little plant. This is the lemon cucumber. It's still flowering, but the but I'm going to harvest shadow. I'm going to harvest this um, cucumber right here. Beautiful color. It's prickly though. See? It's so prickly. Just gonna harvest. This is how I harvest cucumber. Put just my finger there and then slide it like this. Voila! Lemon cucumber. Good snack. Healthy snack. Yeah. I have been harvesting all along. I keep stop and going, stop and going. And then this is the one I did. The cucumber. I will put this. Yeah, this is my um big mama tomato aroma type. I mean yeah, like a aroma type tomato. Like a what's it called? It's like a aroma tomato but 
this one's different look at this it got pointy pointy tip it's almost like the san marzano but this is the big mama and it's actually delicious for me yeah it's a pointy nose and i got this volunteer the chocolate chocolate tomatoes if it's ripe ripe vine um yeah but you leave, leave it ripen in the vine it's so sweet uh, it's just a little tough on the skin the skin but it's the inside is just so delicious and sweet and i had a, a couple before i put them in there and my beans are still producing as you can see there's a lot here this is um probably the last hurrah of these beans i bet i have been eating a lot of beans <laughs> from that from my garden and this is probably the last i mean bunch that i gonna get but they're still flowering in there flowering but it's probably never gonna be like this much again yeah just maybe a handful here and there after this harvest this is massive harvest today yeah and the ones in the floor guys are my peaches that's one of the many like every day i pick up six seven that fall off from the tree i mean my final assessment on this um uh organ sabah guys it doesn't work it doesn't work on squirrels it doesn't work definitely on the bugs like i've seen part in particular the stink bug they were just like stink bug is just like go outside the bag and then walk around there and then puncture the inside and i would see the wound and they get so awful and they just fall off and bad let me see what's going on that this one i have the perfect good example this one looks like it's been eaten already I think I picked up more than 30 peaches already that are bad. Oh, awful. See, that's bad. I think that's the squirrel. And then some bugs. The like stink bug I have seen. Oh, it drips in my elbow. The one right there. Oh, I can't see it clearly. But, ew, that's gross. Okay, that was gross. The juice of that thing and the stink bug the I actually seen a um, larvae also in here I don't know what kind of larvae that one maybe plum corcoli plum corcolio larvae I have seen sometime it would come out see that one because it's so hard to um bug peaches because they don't have much of a neck and the bug will just keep biting going in the right here they go in there I seen spider airwig and a stink bug so organza bug also help helps my only help my apple from the cuddling moth but it doesn't really help much yeah we'll see what's left on my peaches up here Look at that. They are ripening, guys. I'm probably going to harvest some today. Oh, I, I will show you my picker. Yeah, they're good. Some of them that went in the top are split. Look at that. Uh, yeah, because of the rain. I think two weeks ago, it was four days of just constantly raining. And it hadn't been rain, rain after that. So... From the very that from the rainy days to just nothing for a week. These are good sized peaches too. Yeah. But the or the but the organza bug guys doesn't help my peach. It helps my apple from cuddling mode, but not the peach. Look at that. You can see it guys. There. This one right here I put in my orchid um, hanging basket it smells peachy now too I'll try sniffing it okay. smell peachy guys so I'm gonna harvest this but look at the damage right here let me pause the camera first good guys 
See this one talking about peach don't have don't have a pedanko or um, the stem right there. Look, that's why it's so hard to wrap them up. You just like right there open and then the bug can still get in there. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, it has split. I'm going to ripen this inside some more. Okay, guys. Let's examine this. There's a, there's a split right there from too much rain. And right there. And these are some maybe some spider or some bugs that got in there something if i press it harder there's a give to it so this is um ripening so i'm gonna continue to ripen this inside the house well, you could eat this like this like an apple but it's not it's not very very sweet just a little sweetness to it that make it it's, it's edible now but i want my peach to be softer so i'll put this in my basket and this is my fruit picker guys see this is my fruit picker and I just um put a cushion in there so that it's not gonna bruise my fruit and let's pick that one right there let's see that's oh, much easier here it's only one in here but the branch is already it broke because it's heavy yeah oh that was easy it's really ripe it's really ripe guys that was easy to pull let me see let's go in the grass right here oh oh my gosh it's almost perfect but not quite this is I did not spray this um this um tree this season not even the organic one you know but look at this guys there's a um, blemish right here this was i don't like there's probably warm in it so i'm definitely not eating this but i'm gonna show this to my hubby first maybe he will just cut that out and look at this beautiful color one wow i can definitely smell the peach fragrance in this very nice yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye on it I don't want the larvae to come out <laughs> yikes look at this put, put in here in my basket cucumber I'm gonna get some more yeah there are more there in there guys but at least at least like a half I mean it's almost like that much the one that's already I've thrown away it fell off the ground because they are um, ridden with um, diseases from the bugs yeah unbelievable but I'm gonna harvest some more to ripen indoors Well, look at this guys. This is what organic growing looks like. It's a lot of um, blemished. I am I'm not comfortable with this kind of blemish because I don't think I can eat this. But I will show this to my husband. Let's see if he likes it. Otherwise, this one goes to the trash. Look at this. This one, it got damaged got in by bug but it healed itself okay this one is it's this is the perfect one I keep that one this one oh my god it's a good size very nice color on it and I think it's also a perfect one the one I'll keep for myself and my hubby and this one here it's split it was perfect but it's split so I'll but, and there's a little tiny hole in there. I don't know what goes that one, but I'll show that to my husband. And this one as well, cracked. 
but this one there's a tiny hole in it probably from the stink bug or I really don't know since stink bug all around that's why that organza bag didn't work so look at this it got bitten but it, start, it healed itself we'll see but that one right there guys I will just chuck them off look at this that one it got uh, I don't know what bit that one yeah look at this eek gross look at this mm -hmm. eek this one um, that one is ad other than that the rest are fine maybe I will try and cut that one the one that one right there oh this one's actually soft it's ripe already yeah let me see if I can like do like this because it's ripe already look oh sorry guys <laughs> Oh, my imagination it just ran wild I thought <laughs> I do not want to encounter a worm <laughs> I'm so sorry guys look at that yep that's basically it so that's my um peach there are still more that I have to check out later maybe tomorrow yeah yeah like like that one there that got eaten by a squirrel. I'm gonna deal with that later. So I'll show you something else. I still have my flux. Yeah. They are long lasting. Look at this. And one right there from far is red. I'm gonna make those. Um, more of those grow more of those red so that you know I'm gonna have um, purple and red yeah that's a gigantic bee right there look at that yeah this smells good they are love the flux and this one right here guys are the apples they are already matured the seeds are da uh, dark brown already, almost black colored seeds, that means they're ready and I have been harvesting a lot already, we've been eating, snacking on them, give some to my sister. I don't really know the variety of this apple because when I planted this one the tag said yellow delicious but as you can see this is not yellow delicious guys, it is um, green. And, but it would get that dark sun kissed color like that red yeah and they're delicious apple they're probably more delicious for um, cooking yeah I have visited a lot on them already yeah this side in here is too heavy it is too heavy that yeah you just scram right there, go over there. I have visited them first, the one in the other branch that's hiding in the Rose, Rose of Sharon. This, that branch right there, I pick at least 20 of them. So heavy, that's why the branch is like this. Small apple in there. The one right there, it's really dark, getting red. So I don't know the variety, it's supposedly yellow delicious, but that's not yellow delicious, right? Either this is the offspring of the yellow delicious seed, or this is just mislabeled. Yeah. I got my handy dandy picker again. I'm gonna uh, pick something for um, my hubby snack. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, let's get that red one over there. How easy is that? <laughs> the 
Isso. Eu. Eu. I don't like the one in the bottom, guys. Yeah. Ugh. Squirrel food. I'll just get those one in here. In my organza bag. You see. I've already been, like I said, I've already been harvested some of these. The one that has nice color. Yep. You see. Now, organza bag is perfect for the apple, but not for the peaches that I found because of my experiment. Yeah. Hang on, guys. See, guys? I like this on the apple. See? It's so unblemished. <laughs> there. And that was easy. It's only like it's ripening. Look at this. This is not yellow delicious apple guys. This is like um matured fruit already and look at this the color yellow green but it would get um sun kiss if it's facing in the sun yeah and it's like tart and sweet yeah perfect for baking and eating snack because that's what we've been doing in this snacking I get a couple more for my hubby snack and mine. Yeah, this is my haul for today, guys. This I got a couple of apples. Look at that very nice color. Couple of apples. Got, excuse me. Got my. I had a snack of two of those chocolate vine ripened uh, cherry tomatoes. Got some tomatoes right there, Big Mama. Got some of these maybe salvageable peaches and a bunch um, bunch of um, green beans and lemon cucumber yeah, it's only one so I'll put this in the top uh, that one's gross Let's see and so it's that one that one is questionable I'd scream if I see warm in it so I'll show that to my husband first and I'll show you some more flowers how's that let's see if I can find some more flowers not flower guys oh, but this is my columnar columnar apple I just purchased this one um a month ago it's called a this day red I was gonna put this in a half wine like barrel container and put this in this location it will be perfect I can put light in the Christmas uh, during Christmas put lights in it anything. but then if we go away for longer time I don't know I don't want to put a special hose in it just to water it so I'm just gonna plant it somewhere somewhere in the side of the house other side of the house oh and this is the one nice view from my front door um, three hydrangea again yeah and that's my Asian pear I hope it's gonna I planted from seeds I hope it's gonna fruit next year I can't wait for it to fruit in here guys supposedly my secret but it's not so secret anymore I'll show you this is my uh, I planted this one late spring so I'm like over African violets that has um it grown indoors in the light, LED light, but it has um, aphids. And I put this in this hanging basket in here, shady area. It got rain on, shine on a little bit of time. But look, it flower. And they didn't die when they get wet. Look at this, how amazing are they? They are very st sturdy African or oh, hardy very African violet very hardy African violet here what I was saying look I have even watered them they're dry yeah 
amazing African violet in the outside since like late spring until now we're in August wow oh and this flower is still blooming yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so nice yep let me see I do have some of this, this the false dragon head I just showed a bee away from it to show you and look it changed color <laughs> the ever-changing color my hydrangea yeah. wow all that color more flux right here yeah more flux the entrance And that's the view from the road. That's my guava tree. Still small. Look at that guys. It's slowly changing colors. Yeah. Very nice. Hydrangeas. This is my limoncito. In Visaya, calamansi in Tagalog. I think calamundin orange in English. It's getting bigger guys. Yeah. It's getting bigger. And more flocks in here. More flocks, but they're, they're almost done. Like lots of seeds gonna fly in here. And this one's my uh, three hydrangeas. Yeah. And here are the floxes. And this one, guys. My black eyed Susan are dwindling down now. Yeah. And I'm gonna harvest this next week my gigantic cinderella pumpkin the leaves are done now i don't want to water them so i think i'm gonna harvest this i can't wait this is gonna be heavy yeah i need um scale to waste this one to weigh this or maybe i just don't this is the only one in a way yeah there you go. Pretty. Okay, guys. Uh, this is it. Sorry, I, I don't know how to make short film. <laughs> just bear with me. You can skip skip something or just, you know, uh, don't watch the whole thing. Thank you, guys. I appreciate if you watch the whole thing. I appreciate you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. And bye.